ever wondered why natural food plays a significant role in a baby's growth and development? Well, it's all about the nutrients. Natural foods are chock full of essential vitamins and minerals that aid in the healthy growth and development of our babies. These nutrients are key to building a strong and robust immune system, setting the stage for a healthy adulthood. But it's not just about what natural foods offer, it's also about what they don't. Unlike processed foods, natural foods are free from harmful additives, preservatives and high levels of sodium and sugar. These can be detrimental to a baby's developing system, potentially leading to long-term health issues. Natural foods, therefore, provide the safest and most nutrient-dense option for our little ones. They lay the foundation for a lifetime of healthy eating habits and overall well-being. So, it's clear that natural foods are essential for our little ones. But what are some easy-to-make natural food recipes for babies? Now, it's time to dive into some delicious and nutritious natural food recipes for your baby. In the upcoming minutes, we'll be exploring three simple yet nutrient-packed recipes that are perfect for your little one's developing palate and growing body. The first recipe we'll be delving into is mashed bananas. This is a classic baby food choice packed with potassium and fiber, essential for your baby's health. The second recipe is a sweet potato puree, a vitamin-rich delight that's as tasty as it is beneficial. And last but not least, we'll be preparing an apple puree, this recipe is a sweet and tangy treat that's loaded with fiber and vitamin C. These recipes are not only scrumptious, but also quick and easy to prepare, making them perfect for busy parents. And the best part? They're made with all natural ingredients, ensuring your baby gets the best of what Mother Nature has to offer. With these recipes, you will be able to provide your baby with tasty and nutritious meals. Let's start with the first one, mashed bananas. Our first recipe is the simplest of all, mashed bananas, a perfect first food for your baby. Let's dive right into it, shall we? First, select a ripe banana. It should be yellow with small brown spots. That's when it's the sweetest and easiest to mash. Peel the banana and place it in a bowl. Using a fork, start mashing it until it reaches a creamy consistency. If your baby is just starting on solids and prefers a smoother texture, you can add a little breast milk or formula to thin it out. Now, while it's important to introduce a variety of foods to your baby, bananas are an excellent choice, especially for beginners. They're not just easy to prepare, but they're also packed with essential nutrients that your baby needs for healthy growth and development. Bananas are a good source of potassium, an essential electrolyte that helps maintain fluid balance, nerve signals and muscle contractions. This is especially important for little ones who are just starting to explore the world on their own, crawling and taking their first steps. In addition to potassium, bananas are also rich in vitamin C. This mighty vitamin is not only a powerful antioxidant that protects the body's cells from damage, but it's also necessary for the growth and repair of tissues in all parts of your baby's body. But that's not all. Bananas also contain a decent amount of fibre, promoting healthy digestion, and they're a great source of energy, providing natural sugars that are easily digested and quickly absorbed. So, not only is this mashed banana recipe a breeze to make, but it's also a nutritional powerhouse for your baby. And the best part? It's all natural, with no added sugars or preservatives, making it an ideal choice for your baby's first food. And there you have it, a simple and healthy mashed banana meal for your little one. Now let's move on to our next recipe, sweet potato puree. Sweet potatoes are not only delicious, but also packed with vitamins and minerals. Let's discover how to make a sweet potato puree for your baby. First things first, you'll need to get your hands on some sweet potatoes. Choose small to medium sized ones as they are sweeter and creamier. Give them a good wash to remove any dirt. The next step is to cook the sweet potatoes. You can either bake, steam or boil them. If you decide to bake, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Pierce the sweet potatoes with a fork and bake for about 45 minutes until they are soft. If you prefer to steam or boil, peel the sweet potatoes first and cut them into small chunks, then cook until they are tender. Now, it's time to puree. Scoop out the sweet potato flesh if you've baked them or drain the chunks if you've boiled or steamed them. Pop them into a food processor or blender and blend until smooth. If the puree seems too thick, feel free to add some water, breast milk or formula to reach the desired consistency. While we wait for the puree to cool down, let's talk about the benefits of sweet potatoes. 
They are an excellent source of vitamin A, which is essential for your baby's vision, growth and immune system. They're also high in fibre, helping to keep your baby's digestive system running smoothly. Plus, sweet potatoes are a natural energy booster, perfect to keep your little one active and happy. Remember, always introduce new foods to your baby one at a time and wait a few days before introducing another new food to monitor for any potential allergic reactions. Finally, when the puree is cooled, it's ready to serve. Portion the puree into small containers or ice cube trays and store in the fridge or freezer for easy, ready-to-go meals. Sweet, nutritious and easy to make, that's our sweet potato puree recipe. Up next, our final recipe, apple puree. Apples are a fantastic source of essential nutrients for your baby. Let's learn how to make a delightful apple puree. To start off, you'll need two medium-sized, organically grown apples. We recommend the sweeter varieties like Gala or Fuji to appeal to your baby's taste buds. Begin by washing the apples thoroughly under running water to remove any residues. After that, peel the apples and remove the core. Next, cut the apples into small chunks. This step is important, not only because it makes the cooking process faster, but also because it ensures that the puree is smooth and lump-free. Now put the apple chunks into a steamer or a pot with a little water. Steam or boil them until they are soft and tender. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Remember, the softer the apples, the smoother the puree will be. Once the apples are cooked, let them cool down a bit, then transfer them into a blender or a food processor. Puree the apples until they reach a smooth consistency. If necessary, you can add a little bit of boiled water to achieve the desired texture. And just like that, your apple puree is ready. It's as simple as that and incredibly healthy too. Apples are packed with vitamin C, which is crucial for the development of your baby's immune system. They are also a good source of dietary fibre, which aids digestion and prevents constipation. But that's not all. Apples are rich in antioxidants that protect your baby's cells from damage. They also contain a fair amount of potassium, which is necessary for the proper function of the heart and muscles. So not only is apple puree a delicious treat for your little one, but it's also a fantastic way to introduce them to the wonderful world of fruits. With this apple puree recipe, you can offer your baby a sweet and nutritious treat. Let's recap what we've learned today. Today we've discovered why natural food is crucial for babies and learned three simple and nutritious recipes. Let's take a moment to recap and solidify our newfound knowledge. In the first scene, we emphasised the importance of natural food for babies. This is not just about feeding your baby, but about setting a foundation for a lifetime of healthy eating habits. Natural foods, free from artificial additives and high in essential nutrients, are the building blocks for your baby's growth and development. Next, we introduced you to the world of natural baby food recipes. We stressed that these recipes are not just about the ingredients, but the method of preparation as well. Cooking at home gives you control over what goes into your baby's food, ensuring it's fresh, wholesome and free from unnecessary preservatives. After that, we dived into our first recipe, mashed bananas. This classic baby food is not just delicious, but packed with potassium, vitamin C and fibre. It's a simple recipe that requires just one ingredient and a few minutes to prepare. We then moved on to the sweet potato puree recipe. Sweet potatoes are rich in beta-carotene, vitamin C and fiber, making them a fantastic choice for your baby's diet. This puree is a bit more involved than the banana mash, but the extra effort is worth it for the additional nutrients. Finally, we explored the apple puree recipe. Apples are a great source of fiber and vitamin C, and their sweet taste makes them a favorite among babies. This recipe requires a bit more time as the apples need to be peeled, cored and cooked but the end result is a delicious and nutritious meal for your little one. Remember, the health and growth of your baby depend on the food they consume. So make sure to provide them with natural and nutritious meals. Until next time, happy feeding. Before we wrap up, we have a small request. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot to us and helps us continue to bring you more content like this. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button Subscribing to our channel will keep you up to date with our latest videos and ensure you never miss a recipe or a tip. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. By doing so, 
you'll be the first to know when we post a new video. We're dedicated to bringing you the best information and guidance on baby nutrition, so stay tuned for more. Thank you for your support and happy feeding.